when you're a senior in high school and your counselors can't answer your questions about college because they're not sure what to do if you can't fill out the FAFSA application. I didn't know what the process looked like and I asked many people and they wanted to help me but they didn't know how to help an undocumented student. I started seeing that my American peers were excited about going to college and I didn't know how to do any of that. My parents didn't know. But there was something that I knew and that was that I wanted to be the first in my family to make it through college. So when I was a freshman in high school, my friend Urban Savaleta, he was a senior. I heard that he graduated and he went to Guilford College. And so I was like, I really need to be friends with Urban even more <laughs> and figure out how he made it to college. So I began the process of, of asking. I took it upon myself to find a support system. And I hear many people applying to many colleges, but for me, doing one application was hard enough. Doing one essay and filling out everything by myself was challenging, figuring out what the letters of recommendation were and the transcript and all that. Um, it, was, it was a little overwhelming. And it was late. It was already March, I think, when I applied. And I got accepted. That was all I needed. I just needed to see an example of someone that had been able to make it to college for me to feel like I could do it as well. I also volunteered with a Hispanic College Fund. They have a Hispanic Symposium. It's a three-day weekend symposium to help Latino students guide them through the college application process. And I volunteered there that one weekend, and it just blew me away. So Urban came back from D.C. and he said, you know, I have this idea, we have to do something here in, in Guilford about a conference for Latinos. When I went to Student Leader for for the first time in 2012, I didn't know how to navigate through the school system here in the United States. That's when the student leader really had an impact. It gave me a type of guideline for the future. A conference that supports students like me. In my senior year of high school, I came back to another sewing leader conference. This time, however, my main concerns was Am I gonna get into the school? And after I get in, how am I gonna pay for that? All the workshops for the seniors were about financial aid, the college application process. Choosing the right college, community engagement, doing community service, impacting your community. It was those face-to-face -face interactions and having those contacts that really helped me answer questions when I was in the middle of working through that on my own. And just having someone I could reach out to when I had any doubts during my search. Through the Bonner Scholars Program, I decided to start working closely with Irving and the Swing Leader Conference. This was something that I wanted to be a part of. After all, Swing Leader gave me this opportunity to pursue a higher education. Now it's not only open to Hispanic and Latino students, but also international students. That does everything to help them become motivated, become empowered and become great students so that they can also go to college. Even though it's a one-day conference, we know that if you want to be someone in life, getting a higher education degree will help you get there. I challenge you all to, to try to make it happen, to knock doors and put yourself out there so that people will know that you want to do this and so they can support you. And I hope to see you in college. Knowing that someone who is undocumented and who made it to college and graduated from college makes the pursuit of a higher education a reality and not just a dream.